We're back. This is our Freemason hour. <laughs> <laughs> we should say destroy the Freemason hour. Okay. There it is. The Holy Bible, as authorized by King James, which is known today by Harry, the rightful king. And I've always often recommended that uh, with the Quran and with the, the Bible, what you should do is just drill a hole through there somewhere. Hang it in your shitter and wipe your ass on it. Because that's about all it's good for. So having said that, we're going to continue from a little bit before we ended up yesterday. And uh, basically I'm saying, uh, Harry, I, as Jesus, <coughs> said that free will is a gift to mankind. But the it was given to do good, not to do evil. That's important. Now you're over there, like, Firing right, little guns, nice and nice and happy. Oh, yeah, what a couple of thousand, six thousand rounds a minute at to some tank or some civilians or whatever, and killing little babies as you go for your country. Mm. What a lovely! Thing. How the fuck is that doing what Jesus wants you to do? How would your mother feel about that? How would Diana feel about it? This, which oh, she might have been down there curing some AIDS in Afghanistan, and you fly over and fucking gun it down. Mm. Good show, Harry. Now, if you want to be king, you're going to have to start pulling the finger out your ass because I will do it for you and you will be dead meat, mate. We will be going, it won't be a happy place. So, you better think about it. So, um, the Trinity was invented. Uh, it's bullshit. So, we'll move along a little bit. One here. God, one soul. Three different dispensations in time. Now, uh, there are 202 uh, remaining layers of masonry reaching to a height of 454.5 feet, just as a reminder from yesterday. This is the average height of the land mass of the Earth. That is, if we level up all the mountains and fill in all the valleys, we have 454.5. Hello! That right there should eliminate any thought of this being a anything but a creation. Mm. And it certainly wasn't done by the people that's running the earth, in particular the Freemasons that control everything. Zionism, everything comes out of Freemasonry. Babylon comes out of Freemasonry. You go back to 900 BC and beyond. And uh, what was in Babylon? Nothing. The old Akanaki, they're coming back, aren't they? I forget about them. Anunnaki. Is it Anunnaki? Anunnaki. Hmm? Akanaki sounds good. <laughs> or or Anunnaki. <laughs> they're the creators, aren't they? Oh, we better watch out. <laughs> better not cry. If yeah, there oh. was a civilization anywhere in the universe, let us then say in the Milky Way galaxy alone, and as we are 33,333.333 light years out from the center, that's another little nudge. Now, the first thing that a civilization would do under evolving... Uh, situations that the universities are trying to teach, uh, you would create electricity and you would create radio from it. Next thing you'll be doing is selling like toothpaste or something and uh, advertising on the radio. And those radio waves go out at the speed of light once it gets through the ether of the atmosphere and it would be here by now, surely. But it's not. There's not one peak from the universe. Not one peep from the galaxy. And the nearest is uh, Alpha Centauri, 4.3 light years away. But what they said 4.3 light years is the distance. But 4.3 years ago, their advertising for uh, toothpaste, Colgate or something, would be here by now, wouldn't it? But it isn't. Because it's bullshit. Alright. So the capstone is missing off the top of the pyramid, and we now know that it's all to do with the displacement factor. You can't place the capstone there because the cap, if you're going up to the average height of the land mass, and there's your pyramid, and we shrunk the base in by 286.1, and the capstone is going to come last, the last stone you place, it's been quarried somewhere, so they bring it there, and it weighs 1722 bloody tons, and you sit it on top of the capstone, it's going to overhang, so they reject it. That's the whole idea of the rejection of the capstone. So, 
The masonry layers numbering 202, 202 are aligned with solar eclipses. Now, um, the first layer represents March the 17th, 1923, uh, and this is a base level uh, of December the 18th, 1922. So how do we arrive at 1922? Well, my angels, they put it in the minds of people. Now, for example, if you're a Nobel Prize winner and uh, you've got to say, where did you get the idea from? Oh, I was sleeping at the time and my little girl said such and such. Or my wife come home with this and she said something and that made me think, oh yes, that's how I can work out and get a Nobel Prize for this particular bit of bullshit that you've invented. You haven't invented nothing. It's come into your mind from something that's already there. So any discovery that is made, it's already in creation, isn't it? Mm. Like you don't think I know about it? So it's what, an I get you to do it because you're the morons, right? And then at the end of the day, I slide in and say, hey, I'm back, and no one wants to know because all the universities have taken over with the Freemason bullshit of we have evolved from something. Okay, London was all to do with setting the time because they wanted to invent the area of own as being the god of the underworld and then have the, the woman who is his daughter marry Joseph who would become England because all these famous people in history, in Israelite history, become nations. So we got the 12 nations become reduced down to once the 10 nations were overcome by Nineveh, they were scattered to Europe and they become the European nations. We're all descended from the Solomon incest with Lot's daughters, which is the Ammonite and the Ammonite, which he took 666 talents of gold per year, and we've gone through that before, but we will touch on it again later. So we've got the 666 number at Solomon, first mentioned at Solomon, sorry. And of course that is now a uh, matrix that they use of Babylonian system. Numbering system only goes up to six. So what we've got is the 6,666 Verses in the Quran. Quran is bullshit. No one is doing except Iran is doing what Muhammad said in his first letter, and that's the only proof of any prophet ever where there is actually the written proof. Isaiah, no original books, you name it, nothing. Only Muhammad. So Muhammad's right, and the Iranians are on the verge of doing it right. They will announce the Mahdi, right? Now, the Mahdi is me. Sorry about that. Okay, so we have December the 18th, 1922, and this is where they really shoot themselves in the foot. We'll read this one here. The masonry layers, number 202, all aligned with the solar eclipses. The first layer representing March the 17th, 1923, at the base level represents December the 18th, 1922. On that date, astronomers set lunation zero. London, England. Greenwich. The observatory. It was actually um, Mr. Green who went with uh, Hook and died on the trip out to uh, study the transition of Venus in uh, 3rd of June 1769. Later, sailing back from uh, with the Harrison clock, sailing back from uh, their secret orders who had demanded that they go to an alternative, look for an alternative to Australia, it was Antarctica. And on the way back, I see a comet. The comet was on uh, the 30th of August, uh, 1769. If you had 8888888 to you get my birthday. <laughs> Lovely. And uh, we'll carry on from there. So, the 50th eclipse is the King's Chamber floor. Now, what they're trying to do is line up London and um, change that over. Slight error here. West longitude. David. Uh, get rid of that bit. Like that. So this is pointing towards own the uh, city of uh, the underworld, Jubalon. We'll get to that in a moment as well. So, the base originally laid out at 9131.06 inches, means 25 years, if each one was a day, which it is. And this is to point to the 25th latitude, north or south, where the moon crosses a sharp angle. So what happens is you've got the equator, then you've got your 25 degree latitude, you've got 25 degree latitude below that, south, so one's south, one's north. But the sun, on 25 degrees 
It's going straight across, but the moon comes up on an angle like that. And it's quite a sharp angle, whether it be south or north, because it's doing this all the time all around the Earth. So when the eclipse occurs, along the 25 degree latitude, that gives you a spot you can measure to. And so what we have then is, in the next slide, the first eclipse after I was reborn, the 25th of January, 1944. And the last is 2012, November the 14th, Prince Charles' birthday. Uh, the distance was 8888.8 miles to the crib that I was incarcerated in for 940, till I was 942 days old. Then we moved to uh, 100, the three old Botany Road mascot, which was later changed well, for some reason or another, I don't know, I haven't checked it. 114, a Regan Street mascot. There'd be a reason for that. Be satanic. And uh, <clears throat> the last one is 942 miles from where I was in that grip. So 942 verses, we find the word Jesus. And there it is there. You can see on the left, uh, the sun with the blue line going across. Um, hitting the, uh, where the, the uh, moon comes up in the blue to give us total solar eclipse. And the same thing happened for, uh, will happen for uh, uh, the 14th of November 19, uh, 2012. Now I've got all the coordinates here. If you look at it closely, you'll see the coordinates. You can look it up. The best one to do it with is um, Easy Cosmos. You may be able to find it. Uh, written by Carl Sagan and 100 astronomers way back in time. He's dead now. Um, Carl Sagan was not a genius by any stretch of the imagination. He actually believed that the Americans went to the moon. And I'll do a series on that um, and show you that it's impossible for any human being to go to the moon uh, because of the Van Allen belt uh, radiation. But the idea of Van Allen belt is to uh, preserve the Earth from radiation of the sun. Otherwise, it, there'd be no life. So, what we've got then is uh, the Hebrew dictionary is 621. The word is Asana. It is the wife of Joseph. Now, Joseph becomes England. Uh, he has two sons. The uh, older is Manasseh. The younger is Ephraim. And Ephraim in Hebrew means Bethlehem. So, Bethlehem associated with Jesus, David, Lion, royalty. And, of course, that's Australia today. The uh, Manasseh is America. If you measure from the North Pole to the tip of America, down to South America, it's 10045 uh, miles times pi is 31680, which is Lord Jesus Christ. And that's the latitude of the house I have in Nell Street um, in Melbourne. And uh, it is one, 31680 kilometres around the Earth. So, um, as she was the daughter of the high priest of the underworld, this is where Jubalon comes from. That's Jubalon. Baal being the devil. So, um, Ammon is the ancient city of Egypt, and we see that the plagiarized Old Testament, most of it invented, uh, has Joseph, the eleventh son of Jacob, Israel, sold into captivity by his brothers. He was a favorite of Jacob to inherit. He was only eleven years old. They set upon him, threw him in the, you know, a, a dry well. There's a code for that. I won't go into that. Um, and then later Judah comes back and he convinces the brothers, he says, listen, let's not kill him. Let's just take his coat, dip it in, you know, goat and uh, goat blood. Now the word goat means devil. So they dip it in the devil's blood. So there's your clue what they're trying to achieve here because they're writing this and inventing it as they go along. So as I say, most of the Old Testament is bullshit except for the prophets. Like Isaiah is, is right. Uh, Ezekiel, they reversed Ezekiel almost completely. Gog and Magog, Colin, that's Russia's going to invade Israel, which they are, by the way. But it's got nothing to do with the uh, prophecies that they aren't going on with that. And then Iran is going to rebuild the temple. It's prophecy. They will do that. I've already told them they can do it. So has he had become king, this is uh, Jacob, he's going to give the inheritance to his son, but... He has two sons and he gives it to the youngest son by crossing his hands and blesses. Now the old man's in a tent. He's come all the way from bloody uh, Israel, about 300 mile trek. And yet he's so knackered when he gets there, he's in a tent and he's blind. And they bring the sons in and uh, he crosses his hands and old Joseph says, Hey, Dad, you got the wrong son. You don't, you've got the right hand on the wrong son, the youngest boy. He said, No, no, I'm right. 
The first son will become a great nation, but the younger son will become a greater nation. All right. So, uh, moon time via eclipses determines time, which is calculated from December the 18th, 1922. Now, you've got two forms of time here. You've got the solar time, you've got the moon time. And also, the main time that we've got to be concerned with is the solar system moving northward at 69,000 kilometres, or 43,200 miles per hour approximately, per hour, and has already crossed the uh, equator line of the Milky Way galaxy because the Catholic Church added 375 days at a time, and I think I explained that last time around, and therefore the actual crossing of the Milky Way galaxy has already happened, and nothing went wrong, did it? It was all happy. And all we have then is the Coriolis effect being now affected by the Coriolis effect of the northern side of the Milky Way galaxy where we are at the moment. And that causes the, go, go flush the dunny, think of me while you're doing it, and it's going to turn the other direction. Do it in the sink, for example, in Australia, it's now going clockwise in America, and Europe is going counterclockwise. Now, if anyone's been observant, it was the other way around. That's why you have, all your clouds now are going across on a slight angle across the equator, up over the central part of Africa and back down through all of the dry areas of the world and it's starting to get rained upon. Is there something in the scriptures about that? Ooh, there is. Yeah. You might be able to think of it. Red is in the wilderness. Blooming in the desert. Okay. The lunation time was set at 12.20. Why 12.20? Well, not 12 o'clock was obvious. No, they set it at 12.20 because the position of the moon was west. 621 longitude, and that's the answer because 621 longitude as a Hebrew number is Athana, which is the wife and the daughter of the high priest of the underworld of the city of On, where Jubalon Freemasonry comes from. Okay, now the children always take on the religion or the, for example, the Jews believe today, wrongly, that if your mother is not a Jew, you can't be a Jew. If your father's a Jew, it's not good enough. Your mother's got to be the Jew. That's bullshit, of course. It's all genetics. But that's what they do to invent things so that they can bring forth their evil agenda. Now, what we have then, that is the moon sub-tens number. Now, the sub-tens number is the angle that the moon rises above that latitude and longitude where the moon was on that date, which was December the 18th, 1920. That number, well, you read from there, darling. Hmm? <laughs> Daydreaming. <laughs> oh, surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. What number do we? 5260. Is it? Is that 5260? No, yeah, 5260. So, the, yeah, the moon sub 10. 5260. And in ah, Greek, to throw in. Stealthily, that is introduced by collusion. And the collusion means conspiracy. Mm. I've got it here somewhere. There it is. No, you introduced it. by collusion. And means conspiracy. And there's a there's a blow up. You'll see when we have mm. the, the dual two yep. screens here. The distance to the moon is measured in this particular case in Earth radii. So we've got 59.4 Earth radii. We go to Isaiah 59.4, and that's how we read that. So here it is. Uh, we'll get to that uh, scripture in a moment. Uh, what we have then is, I've blown everything up so you can see, and this is done with Home Planet, very, very accurate uh, software. It's free. You can download it. Um, Home Planet. And uh, there we have the 18.38 degrees south by... 621. So in other words, it's moved past the straight line that you'd expect to be the Greenwich Mean Line, but no, no. They're going past that to 6.21 west longitude. And that's the reason 621 is the uh, daughter of the high priest of uh, Jubalon, who married Joseph. So go ahead. All right, so the Earth radio was 59.4, that's Isaiah 59.4, quoting, None calleth for justice, nor any pleadeth for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. Hebrew, 
594 Anak, be narrow according to most, a plumb line, and to others a hook. That's a bloody hook, all right. But a plumb line is where you measure things from. So you put a plumb line down. In the old days, when a mason might be building a cathedral in England or something like that, they're all built by Freemasons, but all across Europe, it's all Freemasonry. So you drop a line down, and that gives you a plumb line. So you might go up 100 feet, for example, and drop a pond line down on a string, and that'll give you the the ability to keep going and building straight up. Otherwise, you might go off an angle and bring a full ice over it. Don't want that there. Mm. Okay, so there's another link there. It's a little showing you a bit of close-up of the uh, position of the moon off the coast of Africa. And then we measure to, and this is the interesting part, we measure to my uh, rebirth location. It, which is 105 Rothschild Avenue. Like, we've got a clue right there. <laughs> he, uh, Rothschild was married um, to uh, the richest woman, and uh, out of that union, there was a Roseberry uh, became Prime Minister of England. Now, a Roseberry is the suburb I was born in. The distance from that... Uh, 1838 south latitude by 621 west latitude by uh, longitude is 8517. 0.1 miles. This is where it gets really interesting. Oop. The wrong there There's is. a view of it. It is the word snow. I only found once in the entire Old Testament. And it is in Daniel 7.9. Reading, I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his hair like pure wool, and it is. His throne was be like... Of touching this. I've got <laughs> his throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire. I'm going to have to build you that throne, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I just sat on it a few minutes ago. Yeah, I was just thinking that. <laughs> Fiery flame. <laughs> Strike <laughs> yeah, a yeah. match. <laughs> what you do is, uh, uh, in your toilet, just get a, a, a match and the sulphur in it. When you light a match, it'll give off uh, the sulphur flame and uh, it... Absorbs <laughs> all, all of the all smell. These bathroom now smells. I don't need to do it personally, but I tell you what. <laughs> the bathroom smells like fiery flames. <laughs> You're speaking from experience, aren't you? <laughs> I, live well, I didn't need it to like that, right? <laughs> oh dear, I do. So here's a little close-up of where On is in Egypt. Um, it's uh, an invented place as well. Uh, I haven't checked it out, but I doubt whether it actually exists. So, oh, here we go. We went through this last night. Yeah, but we've got to do it again because you people are coming in. No, I understand that. It's just the, the pronunciation of this guy's name. You go for it. Wow. <laughs> it's spelled Z-A-P-H-N-A-T-H-P-A-A-N-E-A-H. Zaphnathalia. And then, of course, um, uh, the wife, Asna, the daughter of Potiphira. Era, the yeah. priest of On. Now, he's actually the high priest in their legends. Um, in the New Testament, we have Matthew 2 1 5. And there were, and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. This is uh, interesting as well, because it's Hosea uh, 11 1. Now, I had to marry a harlot because that's the first order in, uh, of Hosea to do that. So you don't, as you're a general, captain, king, god, or whatever, you don't send a, anyone else to do your job if you can do it yourself. You wouldn't send someone to fly a plane to gun down little children, let's say a helicopter, in Afghanistan, where they're growing opium for the world's good. Right. And um, that's what it's all about, opium oil. And trans what they wanted to do was take over Iran because off the Caspian Sea, which is 144,000 square miles, incidentally, there's an enormous 2,000 year supply of oil as is. Now the sea keeps on producing oil. You don't have oil 
produced from dinosaur bones and all this kind of stuff. It's, it's, it's a natural phenomenon. Uh, if you go to Salt Lake City in Utah, which I've been, um, there's a little tiny krill in it, and the krill die, and then their bodies fall to the bottom of the sea and become a black, murky tar that is, can be used for oil, because they're not exploiting that. They don't want to even talk about it, right? Now, as Jesus I was the king of Israel, rejected by the Pharisee priesthood of Babylonian doctrine. Babylonian goes back to Freemason, Solomon, and so on. So, by the time Solomon was around, 900 BC, and the doctrines of evil that come down to him, Babylon wasn't even thinking about it. They went to Babylon after the dispersion in 722, and this is where all the bullshit starts about the Babylonian as being the place where they're trying to take, which they've already done. That's why they invaded Iraq. These are the uh, Jews that come down to the Zionists that are the Jews out of Russia that had uh, infiltrated. They are actually Mongolian. They aren't Jews at all, genetically. So what they've done, they said that you and I are Gentiles and they are the chosen ones. Right? They chose themselves. There's a little bit of difference here. I've chosen Iran. You get to tell your people how to do it right. Now, it doesn't say Iran hasn't got problems where they read the Quran and recite it bloody 24 hours a day. Uh, that's got to stop. That's bullshit. What you want is to do the two commandments I give you. Love me with all your heart and love each other in the same way because God, me, I am within you. If you've got love in you, you've got me in you. That's it. End of story. So no more of this Quran bullshit and uh, cutting people's bloody heads off in, in a Saudi Arabia where yeah. bastards they are. They're Zionists, right? The Zionist bloody red. Yeah. Beheading is straight out of the Talmud. Beheading is all Talmud. All Zionism. It's it, gross evil. Even cutting someone's finger off is bad enough. Let alone a hand or a foot because what? They've said the wrong thing about Muhammad. Like the, in the life of Brian, it's brilliant. You're going to stone a guy to death because you said this fish is good enough for Jehovah. Jehovah. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. I love that show. It's my favourite movie. Okay, well, did I finish reading it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, oh, All right. Uh, now we see the British astronomers and surveyors were duped into thinking by measuring the Earth. That is, plumb lines, then laying out their structures from Buckingham Palace to the Holy Lands and Egypt. They could capture the Great Pyramid for themselves. Now, what they did, because they were not really able to get things 100% accurate, um, uh, they come up with Google Earth and they made it fit. Right? However, with the uh, Magellan software, uh, it'll give you an accuracy of uh, up to three metres at maximum. But if you do three points, you come back in the centre of it, you'll, you'll have the exact precise moment and time and space and location that you're standing. It'll, it'll tell you all that. It'll tell you, if you're walking, it'll tell you the speed you're walking at. This is our group here. And this is old technology. It's been around for 20 years. So. We see that the British astronomers and surveyors were duped into thinking that by measuring the Earth, i.e. plumb lines, we mentioned the plumb line, then laying out their structures from the palace in particular. But what they did when they laid out uh, Washington, uh, they even got that wrong. It was supposed to be 10 miles square, and it's not quite. And then they started putting Washington itself, the White House, to be 5813 miles from the Great Pyramid. Well, they got that wrong too. And I've pointed it out every time they have a go at it. They keep on upgrading and getting a little closer and a little closer, but they can't get it right. Because once they get it right, it proves them wrong and proves me right. So we do it with the GPS. No problem. So they thought they had gotten away with it right up until now. And I, as Yahweh, did nothing but what gave them the idea. And as I said before, I just had my angel put in their mind that they had... Uh, outsmarted God. Bullshit. They had taken the bait. This is the hook. Same number we talked to before if you want, if you want to read, uh, go over this again. Plumb line and hook. <clears throat> um, and now it is the fullness of time because we've already crossed the Milky Way Galaxy Equator. Now since they own all media, universities and churches, what they teach in universities is bullshit at every level. Next step, eliminate God out of creation, convince you and your family are apes, or that you stood out of the ass of some primordial sea slug 4.5 billion years ago, or... You <laughs> I did too. <laughs> 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 or 
or all life is a spontaneous descendant from a... Well, if you, if you eliminate everything back to this <laughs> 10 billion years ago, whatever they came up with this human idea, oh, uh, they probably got dates by having some sea slug or something build a fire and do, do a carbon test on the, on the charcoal. That's probably what they Well, did, well, well they, they, no, they probably got their dates from channeling. <laughs> channeling, <laughs> what is it, the Ashtar Command? <laughs> yeah, from, uh, hey, they, they, channeling they the Ashtar them. Command. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's so it would all come from a rock. That was first, right? So you actually are your great, 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 great twenty billion times back is a rock. Well, honey, I did call you the rock of offense. Oh, I'll try hard. It fits. <laughs> I don't actually have to try that hard. It's natural. No, you, you, you do it naturally. No, you totally do, babe. All right. The university section has removed God. The general public has no idea that the solar system was closing in on the Milky Way equator, which ties in with the Mayan date, December 21, 2012. Therefore, reading of the pyramid, we can measure the Earth in many ways. As said, 202 masonry layers, we start from March 17, 1923, the first after foundation level, which is Lunation Zero, December 18, 1922. And there's a wonderful diagram of the... I have an old program, uh, it's called Orbits, and you just press a button, and very, very slow, because uh, when I had this, it was in 1991, this program, and... Uh, because there's modern, modern computers, they're too fast with their CPU speeds and so forth. And uh, we put it on now, I go, zip, she's gone. But if you can slow it down, you'll see how the Earth and the solar system itself is rotating around, spiraling up, uh, following the sun, which is, of course, proceeding. And it's uh, already, as I said, across the Milky Way galaxy, equatorial line. The fullness of the pyramid base is 9,131.06 pyramid inches wide. Each inch is a day, so therefore the width is 25 years. Therefore, logically, the solar eclipses have to pass over the 25 degree latitudes north or south. We have the answer. Simply locate any solar eclipse and they all point to Yahweh. The dude. The Gospels... Almost as if I invented it. <laughs> almost. The Gospels, much inaccurate. So he has sorted it all out, prove it with synchronistic numbers. However, it does tell you that he would come as the Holy Ghost of Jesus and have a new name. Actually, that's the revelation. Tells you he'd have While you're name. wiping your ass on this, start with Paul, get rid of that first. Yeah. Uh, that no, a name that no one knows, that's the revelation, and would teach you all things. That's uh, the Holy Ghost, the Comforter does. The first five books of the Torah, that is a gross abomination. Yes. You must well tear that out. Yeah. yeah. Now, <laughs> Hmm. The internet is their weapon of mass deception and clouds of confusion. Where did the well, knowledge coming come? Coming in the clouds, You've already done that, babe. Oh, yeah. All the confusion. Where did the knowledge come to gather the pieces and invent it? From your way. Nobel Prize winners are handed out with great honours. And the reality is, the winners, if honest, would reveal their ideas linked together via dreams, coincidences, intuition, and above all, the equipment to do it. So Yahweh simply turns the tables. Google his name, Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall. At one point it revealed 82 million hits. That's on a day they must have been sleeping in. I was that day. Yeah. <laughs> then once the Zionist occult realised the vast numbers pointed to him, suddenly the numbers were drastically reduced. The last seven years has been a reduction to a few million or as low as 50,000 hits. Try it. Brian We've been Leonard talking Golightly about uh, Freemasonry now. We have... That there, I think you can see it, can't you? Well, if I put my glasses on, I'll read it right to you. Because <laughs> I don't need glasses. <laughs> it? Oh, yeah, there it is. This is um, the building of the temple under Solomon. Three grand master masons, 3,300. I'm uh, oh, sorry. You read it, I can't see it that <laughs> Honey, we did do this last night. So this I is revision. Yeah, there's a new people this watching re this. Revision. No? It's a revision from last night. Okay. There's, there's all this, there's For the construction of Solomon's Temple, three grand masters, 3,300 master masons, 80,000 fellow craft masons, and 70,000 entered apprentice masons were employed. I just realised I had glasses on then. I was looking at So that's a total of 153,300. I only wear glasses because I look cute, that's all. 
And, and that's because the old lady told you that. The magic glasses. Oh, this one here. It's actually hey, what about there. that old lady, 84 the other day, could not hear a word. She uh, notarised something for us, but she didn't need to have glasses at all. She could read the finest of print. Just we needed a loud hailer to get through to her. What's that, Mary? Yes. There it is. That's a citadel that is beside the great temple that Solomon was supposed to have built. And uh, beside it is the, is the citadel for his wife, the Pharaoh's daughter. Daughter, yeah. What's her name? Anyone know? So I'll show you the mirror. You take it like that. Take it like that. Take your hands away. And <laughs> stuck there. No, my mind. <laughs> yeah, that don't convince you. <laughs> Oh, right, next slide. Okay, there's the next slide is oh, uh, showing news the clip. news clip uh, when we was up um, curing AIDS in New Guinea. The next one is uh, the proclamation to the Queen, which I didn't, want to, I didn't want to do. It was the FBI bloody agent that came out to uh, stay with us for a while. He wanted to do that, so I said, all right. Well, he, before they even came, that was his suggestion. So, mm. yeah, we worked out. We got lots of publicity. A lot of people know about it now. It's all good. And certainly Grandma does. She received it. Now, uh, moving along, what would he expect the comforter to come and say and do? He'd cure the sick and speak only truth. You'd expect that, wouldn't you? Explain all things. The churches say nothing about AIDS cures, the cancer, malaria, the world's biggest killer of native people and babies worldwide. Uh, nor do they point out that all foods are poisoned with mycoplasma, germ warfare, or yell from the pulpits representing Jesus. Do not vaccinate your babies. Uh, Are any of the churches doing any? We cured a guy. I think was it Jeffrey? Oh, Graham. Uh, no, he had he had uh, gonorrhea. He brought, uh, uh, come Jeffrey. there with his wife because she uh, um, was coming down with something, and he thought you know. He's and um, I said, now nah, I'll cure you, but no more going out with these naughty women. Right. Uh, so we cured him, and I'll guarantee you he's straight back to the brothels, because now he can come back and get cured again, right? Mm. That's the problem you have. You cure people of things like uh, venereal diseases that he's picked up from a prostitute, because he doesn't like his old lady anymore, but he sort of, oh, I'll give you a serving now and then, and she gets AIDS or whatever, and then, uh, well, actually she didn't get AIDS, would have been gonorrhea, and, and uh, then he gets cured, and hey, this is all right. We can come back and get cured again. I'm still doing my audio. And I said to him, you do it again, this time it'll kill you. Mm. Okay? Mm. So, we didn't know whether to smile or not. Now, do the churches warn you about the abominable being, the soybean that's in everything that's causing you to become sterile? It's all right to give the babies, of course, oh, uh, in yeah. formula. Right. No. He jets. <clears throat> 13 to 22,000 times the estrogen every day. It's like five contraceptive pills every day when a baby is being fed on... Uh, the baby breaks out and boils and all oh, sorts of things, but as they mature things. they can't have uh, any reproductive organs developing pro properly. Mm. The little boys end up with a micro penis, a man my size with a little tiny penis well, they that they can't use it. And they grow, boys will grow breasts. And they'll start and men also, growing at four. Uh, with the animals, those studies they've done in New Zealand, uh, private people did this, we're breeding birds, and uh, another report we got that um, also uh, causes birds to lose their feathers and then not be able to reproduce. But some of the animals that tests were done on the third generation have hair growing inside their mouth. Mm. Mm. Thank you, soy. The oh, I'm soy. Okay, do they tell you <laughs> about? Uh, uh, do they tell you about um, you know poison in the air through chemtrails or the food? I mean. You know, we well, just talking about, sorry, what about aspartame? What did Mohammed say? Um, oh, Mahmoud yeah. say? Well, well now we're well, talking Muhammad about... Mohammed is Mahmud, by the way, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mahmoud, yeah. He's a direct descendant of, yeah. of uh, Mohammed. Very, very nice He was man. complaining that the uh, clouds... The clouds over the dry stolen, areas of Iran have been... Have been stolen using harp no. to cause a drought. Now, uh, OK. Now, we established a health clinic in Port Moresby, 2008. While there, natives selling goods at the service station put a, pushed a knife it was a coral colour phone through the window. <laughs> Pink it, had, it had the phone number already on it, on the, the card, 
which says seven one seven one seven six two nine. Well, that's how they all come then. Is it? Oh. Yes. Now I, I I've got this in my hand, and I I know what seven one seven and six two nine is, and I, he's haggling with the guy, and I'm like, <laughs> don't do that. I'm wearing this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've got to have this phone! We've got to have this phone! This is what she does to me, look. Oh. Constantly, she bloody elbows me. Look. look at that. Look at that. What was the first thing they did? Um... You punched me in the guts. Yeah, oh, we're doing the guts. Uh, demonstrate. <laughs> <laughs> it's the weekend we reunited after, after 17, 1979 years and I punched him in the guts. So natural, wasn't it? Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> Well, yeah. couldn't, I couldn't eat. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. So later on, January 26, 2009, we're back in Australia and uh, we left there in the uh, early November. So Yahweh gets back and he thinks, I haven't actually measured the next solar eclipse, which was to occur on January 26, 2009. So in November he's measuring where it will occur over the 25 degree latitude and measured back to the clinic at Gibbaca Road and it measured 717 1.7629 kilometres to the clinic from where that eclipse was occurring. So it's the phone number of the clinic. Now I, I didn't do it with Google Earth of course, I did it with Magellan uh, GPS satellite software and um, what you do is you find your location with Google Earth, that's good for it. You can put a, a point in there and it'll give you the actual attitude and longitude. And then you then transfer that to the GPS software and that'll give you the accurate destination. So mm. It's from the centre of the Indian Ocean. 25 degree energy. Okay, the eclipse of 1944 occurred on January the 25th. Now that was 14 days after the rebirth of God to the Earth which was January 11th, 1944. And of course his rebirth was the dreaded coming of the Lord as a thief in the night. He was born at 2.22 a.m. It was the date known by Freemasonry via the Great Pyramid date. The 50th layer is January the 25th, 1944. So that's the solar eclipse that happened. That proclaimed from the heavens or in the heavens the coming of the Lord or the Lord has come. Because it measured from where it occurred 8,888.8 miles back to the crib that he was laid in, 105 Rothschild Avenue, Rosebury, Sydney. Now, of course, the Greek gematria for Jesus is 888. Are you beginning to get the picture? God measures his temple, the earth, to prove, first of all, himself. Well, you didn't actually think it was going to happen, did you? <laughs> Any of this? <laughs> We're going to beam up, Scotty. That's why they bring out bloody Star Trek, you know. Oh, Gets a, the idea that you can go out there and you can be zoomed rapture. across at Mark 7 or whatever they're like, Walk oh. 7, seven times the speed of light. Like, why would you want to? Why do you want to go out to space to go, so let's say 4.3 light years to the nearest bloody Alpha right. Century. When you get there, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> What's the point? Fuck with <laughs> oh, we could, we're overpopulated on the earth and we need a place to live. Yeah. Or build a second story on your house. <laughs> I don't like it. Alright, now there's the uh, diagram of that eclipse that announced. Now, Cook discovered that New Zealand with a Harrison clock, one of my relatives who invented the Harrison clock, took him 50 years to do it. He's very pedantic. But, and uh, found it was 888 miles between the highest or the latitude of the north and the latitude of the south. 888 miles. There on the right hand side you see 942, that's the eclipse of, uh, I shouldn't say Prince Charles' birthday, it's, it's the 14th here, but because we're ahead of London by 10 hours, so sorry Charles, you miss out by a couple of hours. Oh, right, that's, uh, we just covered that. Right then. Yep. We did, didn't we? Now. But new people coming in. All right. And we're reminding people who have seen the arrow. In the next slide. Oh. <laughs> you think I put an F in nothing? No, darling. Do I ever do anything for nothing? No, darling. Okay. Except you firing. Uh, 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 <laughs> the question was, this is the difference between men and women. You say to a man, do I do that for nothing? <laughs> no. Such a woman. Uh, yeah, except. How else?
Can I answer this without saying no, because that would mean a victory over the male over the female. <laughs> Therefore, go ahead, explain it again. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> all right, so. Oh. After all that, we're going to skip through it anyway. What's that? What are you saying? In the next slide. Yeah. You have the sky over November 14, 2012 again. Yeah. It is in the scales of justice. You've Libra. actually read through this. The movie. head of the scorpion is... You've actually read through this? I am now. The date exactly. of Prince I just Charles read it and no comment. <laughs> You're the one oh. making this comment right now. New people come... I'll say it again. <laughs> New people watching this. Honey. They say, who is this moron? <laughs> right? And they don't know because they haven't bothered to watch the other. Or any of the thousands of videos we okay, put Okay, now this is an important okay. slide. Let me really? read it again without your interruption because it's extremely uh, important. Are you listening to this? Go ahead. It's very common. In the next slide, Yahweh has the sky over November 14, 2012 eclipse. It is in the scales of justice. This Libra, is out into space, not head, down from space. Okay. The head of the scorpion is crushed by... What? Earth. November? And the justice is Libra. Libra is what? October? Mm. My mother's birthday. The Revelation birthday. 19, 10, 11, 12. And 12. The 10, 11 is my mother's birthday. And the 12 is the year 19, 12 was the year she was born. And are saying that when God gets back to you, he'll have a new name. He'll tell you what it is. <sighs> okay. No, wait, stop. This is the important part. November 14th. You didn't want to read it before. Go ahead. I'll say nothing. It's keeping you on your toes, babe. Mm. The date, of course, is Prince Charles, 64th birthday. The Solomon, murder died. Solomon died when he was 64, by the way. That just gives you a bit of a hint. Charles, the murderer of your mother, Harry. Your supposed father knew right from day one that you were not his son, and they were setting you up to start World War Three. Right, so when you're flying on the helicopter, watch out for little planes bought on eBay and Iran. Right, and they and they're stuck straight into your engine and you come flaming to the ground and then they'll burn you to death. Fiery flames. They want that? you to die the most horrible death. Maybe a slow burn from the feet up or something. Be something horrible. That's what they're going to do to you, Harry. Wake the fuck up. Mm. Get in that bloody thing and fly it straight to Iran. Right? Uh, the uh, Apache, let me think. 1,900 miles or kilometers it can do at 160 miles per hour. You'll be across... You'll be across the border in an hour and a half. You'll be in Iran. I'll tell Mahmoud you're coming not to shoot you down. You'll be at 20,000 feet, so they won't be able to shoot you down anyhow. And then land on the lawn of the nearest mosque. Ooh. And I'll be waiting for you. And you can change the world, turn it over, upside down right now. Oh, there's your plane, it's gone down in flames. Sorry about that. There's a little Arab chap standing next to it, he brought it down. Is no, he's, he's an Iranian, for fuck's sake. Is that the goat herder? It's an Iranian, this way. He's an Iranian, Iranian tourist. Uh, terrorist. <laughs> All right, there's the actual... Um, uh, Venus is the uh, pentagram for... Uh, that's why the pentagon has got a shape of a pentagram. Uh, that is the uh, Baphomet. Baphomet. M as well, they're twins. And uh, the sun eclipsed by the moon. It's got the date there. 9.42 miles to my... Uh, birthplace, you've got the moon lined up with the sun directly in the centre of uh, the scales of justice, which is uh, October, and uh, you've got Mars, which is the god of war, if you like, uh, crushing the head of Scorpio. It's judged by Libra, the scales of justice, crushed by Christ. Okay. We can cover them if you'd like, you don't have to do that again. Similar to all the others. What, what about all the people who have just come in? Oh, of course. 
The 50th yeah. layer is the floor of the king's chamber and antechambers. We can measure all the solar <laughs> eclipses and they will reveal concordance numbers in miles to Yahweh's crib. In case you've just tuned in, this is the returned, resurrected, reincarnated Lord Jesus Christ, whose name today is Brian Leonard Go Lightly Marshall, Yahweh, the one and only God, not a trinity. Catholic God, yes. Okay. There's some of the uh, various, uh, there's several of these, this one has got the nine letters of the original um, Greek. Uh, for the first nine letters, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for the value of each letter. So you've got one, uh, which would be alpha, beta. It goes right through to uh, theta, which is number nine. Then you go across to the second group of nine, and you'll see how they've, they've got, they're marked here. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and then 90, for copper, and then you've got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and this mirrors the Hebrew exactly in the numbers that the uh, Hebrew is also, because it's got the uh, values of the letters. Now, all ancient languages had that, except for Egyptian, which has a, a pharaoh with an arrow stuck in his ass or something, as a pig. They had no numbers, they had no written language, they couldn't do anything. They didn't build anything in uh, in uh, Egypt. Uh, it was all built by these angelic men. Descendants of Noah, the Shem, the Shemite. So we've got Christ has a value of 1480, Messiah 925, Saviour is 1480, again, and Jesus is 888. Now the Lord number is not shown there, it's 800. So you put the 800 together with the uh, Jesus 888 and Christ 1480 gives you 3168, Lord Jesus Christ. And of course, you, that is the last verse of the King James Bible. And uh, that verse has a value of uh, 528, which is the length of uh, a mile in feet, 5280. It's also the perfect resonance number for human health. That's why they're bombarding you with the telephones and the mobile towers and <coughs> microwaves and... Music, music is on a certain frequency that is demonic. That's how to get your kids. So there's a more detailed uh, view of the uh, two different eclipses. Um, close up. There's your longitude and latitude of the house. You can do all that if you get yourself a Magellan. Don't do it with Google Earth because it's bullshit. There's another one of it. This shows you again the latitude and longitudes where they all are. That goes back to that. We don't need that a second time. Okay, just a close up. All oh, right. The demon spirit of all of the earth is identified by 105 Rothschild Avenue. The number 105 is eagle or angel. Measuring to the town of Harcourt, there we find Eagle Road. Therefore, from the crib at 105 Rothschild to Eagle Road South to Eagle Road North and back to the crib is a distance of 888 miles. Now, when I was laying out Sydney, of course, uh, this is quite an old suburb, so uh, they got to put Rothschilds in there, haven't they? At the end of it, they've got Harcourt. At the other end, they got Chester. Now, when you walked into the um, Babylonian temples, there's a chest you put your money in. Ooh. That's why you tie it. Right? At the other end is Harcourt, so we just go to Harcourt Parade. From Harcourt Parade, we just go over to find Harcourt in Victoria. Which is where I was staying at the time. Eagle, How? 105, okay right? It also means angel, so you've got 105, Eagle Road, you go down, up, and back. And you've got 888 eight, eight miles. Now, that's because my angels laid it out for you. There it is there. There's a close-up of uh, Eagle Road. You see the lines, the blue lines, all joined together to give you that. I'll go back to it. There it is there. And um, there we have the birth location. This is Harcourt across the bottom. 
So needless to say, the miracles I reveal is absolute proof that I am the creator of all things good. The earth is my creation. I did it because you may not understand how, but as man has free will, I used it to build my kingdom and then we take it out because I knew the bastards to turn evil, right? And in actual fact, there are some things in the Old Testament that says that whatever a man imagines is always evil. Ooh. Always. Because they get into groups and they support each other and they make money off it and money's a root of all evil. Ooh. Now what does it all boil down to? It says, once a person overcomes the stupidity of self to consider what proof God in the flesh would have with him, what would his credential be? How about demonstrating a motor that runs on magnets or cures AIDS and cancer, malaria, VD, diabetes too, and so on? We Would can cure diabetes enough? one, but we need a laboratory to do it because yeah, you've got to have an injection of what is it, 16 million Scovilles into get the pancreas. Six, 16 million Scoville scale capsaicin. You get it, yeah. get it from Chile, for example, from Mexico. So that will kick off the uh, uh, insulin. And because of what happens in insulin uh, dependent people, um, they aren't able to produce the insulin to give them the uh, well, they, tea. They, it opens the sugar yeah. molecule, or allows the sugar molecule into the cell to give you energy. They, 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 yeah, they, their pancreas is not producing the beta cells anymore from the Langerhorn Islet, all because of that little narrow tube into is inflamed. So Now, people are going on about, oh, the Egyptians this, the Egyptians that, and you know, God over there has got a head of an ibis. Oh, yeah, I'll go on with that. We went past one yesterday, didn't we, oh, yeah. An Egyptian god? We did. An ibis? We did. It mm. bowed to me, you know? It did. It did too. I Anyhow, think it bowed um, head down, ass up. Hmm. Or was it probably turned his ass towards me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, whatever that was, was a brilliant point. I was just forgotten what the hell it is now. Well, well it ends in wheel, so let's move on. Oh. <laughs> we all move on. We all move on. Okay, so logically. Yahweh, the Christ, has to be genetically the most royal man alive, which you must expect as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. It must be true. However, as the world is consumed by religions, that we do have the ancient idea that they are all correct. What church among 36,000 different denominations, that's in the Christian world alone, are correct? Don't even go to the Korean and think that's correct. This is absolutely not. Uh, total it's absolute bondage. bullshit. All right then, Harry. Well, you can run through this. One. All right, Harry. Now the point is, that you might think differently as the chopper crashes and burns with you in it. You might think I'm full of shit up until that moment. Mm. But your mother is looking down from heaven at this, and she's going to say, "Hey, my boy, wakey, wakey, get even with these bastards because they're trying to kill you as they killed me to stop what you from actually announcing Christ is back." Naturally, they're going to lock you up in an insane asylum, but that doesn't matter. Do it for it. Do it for your mother. Mm. As they're injecting you with all this kind of stuff. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, so let's look at the 50th layer once again and take a tape measure or a laser, as they have done. And you'll find that the king's chamber is slightly over. It's 53702 blah, 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 pyramid inches. As you walk through the passage into the king's chamber, the first thing you would pass through is the antechamber. It is 116.2603. Don't worry about the 03 at this point. Long or wide. Stopping at the far wall, you measure to the centre of the coffer, which is 286.1 off of the centre line of the passage coming into the king's chamber through the 116.26 antechamber. Then you measure to the coffer and then up to the ceiling and you add the three and then you multiply by a lunation which is 29, you have to be exact here, 29.53052, I do think in exactness, -ness -ness -ness. what have you? Well, to find out, you're going to have to go to the next film for that. So, hasta la vista, we're out of here.